All these antique malls we keep passing by. It's terrible. <laughs> it's terrible. We're like an hour away from the biggest antique blacksmithing score I've ever had. And I I am trying to stop at every antique shop I see on the way. Uh, unfortunately, we're on a time crunch. It's, what's wrong with me? <laughs> it's a disease. That's what it is. <laughs> I think you got rust flowing through your veins. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't been in this barn yet. I'm really excited to go in. Okay, camera's got to adjust to the lighting. <gasps> oh my gosh, look. Indian. Little, uh, that doesn't even look like a 50cc. That's awesome. And then a Toyota Land Cruiser. I've been wanting one of these forever. This is amazing. We may not be in the right barn. Let's look. Nope, we are. Ho, 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 ho. <gasps> the blacksmith shop. Oh. So what do we have here? Pretty beat up anvil. Let's take a listen. Uh, appears to be cast. Oh, wow. Look at that thick plated steel on that table. That's amazing. Let's see what else we have over here. Oh my god. Sheet metal roller and a spot welder. And then here's the the big anvil. Beautiful. This would be a shoeing anvil. And here's the stand that comes with, which is fine. I like the stand. This is nice. You got places for your hammers. Wow. And then we have a Vulcan. I expected to see some of this on a Vulcan, but the top of this Vulcan is incredible shape for a Vulcan. And so it's a 10. I don't know exactly what that translates to, but I'm gonna say that's probably a 100 pounder. And it's on a nice, nice base. And then a little piece of railroad track. And check this guy out. That's pretty cool. We can definitely use that as a mandrel. So we've got blower that one's froze up and there's yep here's a forge you can see the the base of a forge inside there and a nice metal table a couple of how was that oh electric blower. electric blower i should just send half the stuff to hintel rescue <laughs> Have you ever seen an antique bead roller like that? I mean, look at that thing. It's just amazing. You take your sheet metal and you set your you set your depth right here. You run your corner in to your sheet metal and it will run a bead on there for you and you just crank it through. Really cool. Definitely needs restoration. Here's another great set of tongs. This would be perfect for knife making. And I'm sure these are, yeah, I mean, just good chewing tongs. What a great starter anvil that would be for someone. Um, what's amazing is how much workable space is right here. This is so flat. I mean, that's a very nice piece of piece of steel right there. So that's going to work great. We're not going to have any problem fitting this stuff in the truck, which is just amazing. I'm super excited. Let's check box number two. And there's. The <laughs> Oh, unbelievable. <laughs> A flatter. Nice. Here's the other side of the rounding dies. It's more like a chipping hammer almost. Just awesome. Wow, that's a great hammer. Made in Japan. You can tell it's made in Japan. <laughs> you can tell by looking at it. Look how far forward the, he the head is on that hammer. How far back the eye is. That does not shock me at all that that's made in Japan. Uh -huh. And um, what I may do, I may actually, it'd be a really good video to surface this guy. And, uh, is there a crack here? Or? Oh, no, it's just grease. Some grease. Just yeah, I went to uh, Grapevine, Texas in uh, 70, 78, horseshoeing school down there. 
worked at it for about three months or three years and decided that uh, my back wouldn't take it and when I was young and wasn't making too much money but uh, back in those days you shoot a horse for fifteen dollars <laughs> <laughs> was it You're out there for three hours fifteen dollars doesn't add up <laughs> so, what's it cost today to shoot a horse i i wouldn't even know well, about uh, bucks. yeah about 120 that's yeah. what i think and then the other stuff here is my dad's uh he uh, he actually went to horse shooting school in uh, oklahoma and uh, uh he just started collecting stuff and we still got uh, a lot of the stuff here, and a lot of it's old, and I think most of it works. Uh, yep. Just a matter of getting them back together. It, they're all coal-fired. This one uh, has a little, or it did have a little bathroom fan motor in it. I thought I was going to make me a nice blacksmithing shop here, and... Uh, well, when you get to Lindale, you just get to come blacksmith with us. Well, I, I really, you know, I really like that because I, uh, I wanted to tinker with it, you know. And uh, yeah, back in those days, uh, you, we had to make our own shoes. We didn't buy shoes; we had to make our own shoes. So it, uh, I enjoyed pounding on the on the old anvil there. He's all man, guys. <laughs> We about got her all licked, guys. So awesome. Just a couple more of these awesome steel tables to load up, and I think we've got it. Richard also picked up a couple items here. Really nice saw, really cool stuff. <laughs> well, I think you're doing a good job. You like it. one of the more valuable pieces and um, I really really like this forge and I uh, I don't want to see any of these flanges break off so what I'm doing right now is I'm kind of breaking it down I'm not gonna take the whole top off the whole uh, burner section I'm just gonna pull off the blower Alcosa F20A it's beautiful it's isn't it? London. 2004, you reckon? Oh yeah, brand new. Just yeah. out of the box. <laughs> <laughs> Put my hardware back on real quick. Yeah. This is original hardware. Um, all the bolts are the same, and I want to keep it that way. So one interesting thing was, uh, I was like, yeah, it's 9 16 because I'm thinking old American stuff. Well, this is British, so of course it was metric. But uh, I made do with my. Uh, my hand is adjustable from 13 millimeters on up. So, well, you know, I didn't even think about being metric. Yeah, London, those guys. <clears throat> yeah. So, how many foot pounds of torque you got in those uh, adjustables? These right here. Yes. Uh, it depends on if I'm like what I'm using them for. If we're if we're doing the twisting motion, you know, like in high school. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> One. Yeah. <laughs> is it measured in stone? Stuff, yeah. <laughs> The day is done. I got a full load, and uh, I'm just feeling blessed. So we're gonna hit a hotel tonight and uh, head back in the morning. But I think first, probably more barbecue. Thanks, guys. You can take the boy out of the country, but you can't take the country out of the boy. Walking up the stairs, and I saw this deer track. 